What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we're going over the market. And then after this video, we do have a locker code video. Before we get into it, let's get that like button up. Today, we do pick the MT giveaway winners. And if we have 50 likes on this video, we will give another amount of MT, most likely this week. So if you guys want, like it up, man. 50 likes on this video. Not only that, we will drop another video after this if we do have 50 likes. So like it up man we're gonna go over the market not only that if you guys need mt xbox ps4 i'm selling mt i have stock on both xbox and ps4 so make sure to hit me up but anyways guys let's get into it man we're gonna go over the market a little bit man lebron james did win his fourth nba finals <clears throat> now four and six can he win again if ad stays man you know lebron's gonna get up there again if AD stays and if he acquires a couple decent players, man, he's most definitely going to win another finals. Shout out to Jimmy Butler, man. He went off. Jimmy Butler honestly has proved this world wrong. I have nothing but respect for Jimmy Butler and, of course, LeBron James. But, yo, let's get into this market talk, man. There is a lot going on. So, um, is today a good time to sell your cards? Well, we're about to find out. Um, looking at today's content or today's market i should say realistically guys today is definitely not a good day to sell your cards um it looks like the market may rise a little bit but then again tomorrow there will be uh, a new spotlight challenge which kind of is kind of interesting uh moses malone pink diamond his the first pink diamond for under ninety thousand mt and i find it kind of crazy because i think this pink diamond is actually very good even though he can't shoot He's actually insane. So it's up to you if you want to sell Moses Cut. I kind of want to keep him, man. This card looks pretty damn good to me. I have him in my collection. Is he worth the sell? It's kind of interesting, man. And people who keep talking about Mono Ginobili, Mono Ginobili. Well, this is what's going to happen with Mono Ginobili. He's not going to rise until the full set drops. And why is that? Because when the full set drops, that Mono Ginobili card is going to be very rare. Why? Because he dropped the first week. So what's going to happen is that Monogen only card is most likely going to rise. Why is it going to rise? First off, he's actually pretty good. Second off, it's going to rise because if you guys remember that Tim Duncan that did drop. If you guys remember, Tim Duncan way back in 2K20 was one of the first prime cards ever. And what happened to that Tim Duncan? It went up so much in value. So that's what I think is going to happen. I think that Pink Diamond Manu is going to be exactly, it's going to be identical to the other pink diamond mono ginobili it all makes sense that's exactly what i think is going to happen and as you guys can see this mono ginobili i have here has more badges and also has a shoe so i'm going to wait to sell him i have three mono ginobili's in total and this is my squad and me personally i'm not selling any of this squad i'm thinking about selling it wednesday um be honest man i think i'm going to get rid of every single player i have because <clears throat> as the days go on man 2k gets better and better with content there is a lot of content going on and honestly lately man <clears throat> there is just too much going on with nba winning the finals the market should get a little less hype but yo you guys are here for some pricing so let's go over it man let's see if you should get rid of any players today it does not seem like a day to sell it really doesn't i think a day to sell would most likely be wednesday but right now i guess i'll show you some snipe filters if you didn't check out my top sniper snipe filter video make sure to check it out and also all you guys, man, we've been getting subs like crazy. Thank you guys so much for the support. You guys are out here. We're actually getting subs. It's been a first, the first couple weeks of 2K, man. We've been losing subs. Shout out to all you guys that are now subbing. You guys are goaded. But yo, Clay Thompson, I think he might continuously drop. If you guys want, you should probably honestly just continuously drop Clay. I mean, continuously sell Clay Thompson. It's not a bad it's not a bad time to sell him. Me personally, I will not be selling him. Clay Thompson, in my opinion, is the best shooting guard in the game with the defense, with the amazing jump shot. He's a beast and he's only 40 something K. So, my opinion, I'm keeping this Clay. One other car I want to talk about, man, is Kobe Bryant. Uh this Kobe Bryant card is most likely going to stay at this value around 100,000 MT. 
If you guys have him, you could go ahead and sell him. His value hasn't changed, yo. His value will always stay there. Nothing's really going to change now. Here's Christos Porzingis. He's down in value a lot. And honestly, I'm not sure why. I think his jump shot's money. I think his everything is cash. He's tall. He could block. And honestly, I think Christos Porzingis is most definitely worth the snag. If you guys do have the MT, I think he might rise to over 50k again. There's not that many on the auction. If you guys want, if you do have them, I would recommend holding till about Wednesday. I think Wednesday is going to be the last day to hold on to your cards. And uh, honestly, guys, if you have some badges in your collection, make sure to check them out. There are some badges going for a pretty decent amount. Not going to lie. Um, we're going to go over some budget snipe filters while we're in here. Right now, guys, it's definitely not a good time to sell your cards. Let's check out one more card. Let's check out Giannis and let's check out Stockton. So let's check out what their prices are going for. Giannis is around 140K, which is most definitely expected. It's Giannis. He's literally one of the best cards in this game. And then we got John Stockton. And also, man, LeBron James is probably going to get a uh, XP challenge today. So if you guys have him, it's pretty fire. John Stockton's up to 120, but that's also with a limited shoe. So, yo, there's a lot going on right now, man. There's most definitely so much to talk about on the market but realistically right now if you want to sell you don't want to take any risk it's up to you tomorrow we're most likely to get new spotlight challenges tomorrow is tuesday they always drop content as you guys can see 23 hours left on this playoff records pack so most definitely tomorrow we are going to get new content and tomorrow no most definitely gonna drop a video but here it is man new content right there um hopefully he got some fire. I'm hoping it's fire that Bill Russell was really not it. But yo, let's go over some snipe filters that I made some MT off the other day. Yes, I have no MT. It's because I bought up the whole auction. But yo, Ruby, minimum Ruby, 1400 is money. You just pretty much want to stay around from Robert Parrish. And this filter will make you lots of MT. As you guys can see, I have a couple Rubies invested. Uh, Bobby Jones is one of them. Byron Scott's one of them. And I did all get them for very, very cheap. And honestly, you guys could probably get them cheap too. But yo, for it, that's really it for the video. If you guys have any comments, any questions down below, make sure to hit me up. Drop that like, 50 likes in the video. And yo, that's all we got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.